So I'm going to show you how to put a photo inside of another photo. This picture I found from Adobe tutorial. So you can actually find this tutorial in Adobe and do this tutorial. It's actually great, but it simply shows you how to add a photo inside of another photo. So in order to do this, you need to first go to file, place embedded, find your photo. So you need to know where it is. I put it on my desktop because I did not want to lose it. And otherwise I would not have known where it was. And then you want to hit place. Now at first, it's just going to be over everything. It's not going to look right. That's okay. But in order to get out of this place, if you want to sh change the size now, you can, but maybe you want to wait for that. Just hit this little check mark right there. You can also use return or enter on your keyboard to do that. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to, and if you want to see those little marks over your photo, you can do the show transform controls. I like the show transform controls because it just enables me to be able to see where the edge of the photo is. Okay, so now that you have this, you're going to want to make sure you don't have a little lock on your background because you're going to move this layer. So if you have a little lock on your background, click that so that it's unlocked. And then you're going to select this layer, or this new picture that you put on there, and you're going to drag it underneath your background just like that. OK, so now you're also going to want to select the background. Now, notice you don't see that photo. It's not going into this place that we want the photo to go to because we need to delete this. We need to remove the white so it will show the photo underneath it. So to do that, we need to select this area first. So we're going to go over here to this uh, one. Now, you might have different ones showing depending on what you used last. Most likely you'll have that one shown, but I don't know. So to get to the other ones underneath, you need to hold it down and go to quick selection tool. If for some reason you don't see the quick selection tool, you can go to these little dots right here and you can, you can look under here by holding it in. Okay. So I got the quick selection tool. You need to make sure it's on the plus right there, the plus. And you're going to drag this over just the white area until it selects all of it. Okay. Now that you have all of that selected, you are going to delete it. And there's a couple different ways you can delete it. You can just hit delete on your keyboard, or you can actually go up here to edit cut. Edit cut is kind of good. Uh, you can also go to, if you're on the Mac, it's Command X, which cuts it out. Okay. So then at this point, you know, you might look at your photo. It might be too small, might be too big, might not be in the right place. That's okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the Move tool. And you're going to select this picture that you have that you added. You don't want the background selected. You want the picture that you put in selected. Now, as long as you got show transform controls, you can take a corner and make it smaller or bigger. You can move it around until you're in the right spot. And then you can keep on moving it bigger until it looks kind of perfect. And so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking somewhere in there looks pretty good. And then again, once I want to commit to that action, I can, you know, I'm going to, I can hit this little check mark. Okay. So that's how you add it in there. Now, what you want to do is then save your image. If you want all of these layers, you can simply save it as a Photoshop file. If you're good and it was very easy, which it looks like it was, you can just save it as a JPEG. If you're going to turn it in for an assignment, or if you're going to use it online, usually JPEG is fine. It doesn't have to be super high quality. So you can go to File. And I always like to go Save a Copy. And uh, I like to go to, I like to put it to Downloads. 
And right here, instead of Photoshop, I change it to JPEG. And I might even add my name to the front of it. Make sure it goes right to the front. I'm looking at where that blinking line is. Matt George. Little section there. And then save it. And then quality of eight is fine. Okay. And there you go. You got it. That's how you can add a picture into another picture as well as cut out part of your photo in order to reveal your photo in there.